All right, after a long morning, like I woke up at four this morning, had a run around with Delta, claiming because I was business class, I couldn't take hops. For some reason, Delta's business class, you can't have a dog. <laughs> they ended up letting me on when an Instagram follower of mine messaged me and said, hey, if you need to get through to Delta, because I couldn't all week long, here's a number. They always answer within five minutes. <laughs> you serious? Everyone has been messaging me with the same problem I had. No one at Delta is ever answering. This guy came through. Someone at Delta answered like that. They got us on the flight. We had to though downgrade to economy, which was then weird because then when we got to Salt Lake where we had our changeover and flew to Cabo, they upgraded me to business class again, but I didn't take it because I had a whole, a whole row because there wasn't very many people on the flight. This is my family. Hobbs has been a really good boy. Can't wait for him to see Morgan and Alex. We haven't seen both of them in a year. So we're here, Cabo, never been before. So if you guys have, let me know in the comment section below where we should go, what we should do. I'm excited, there's golf here. There's some pickleball at the resort. There's a nice gym, there's a beach, there's tequila. So it's gonna be a good time. All right, drive program. Today, upper body day. So I have three upper body, three lower body days. Now, that, it's not saying like, hey, I'm gonna be doing chest and back every single day. That's what I have in here. But we do have a little bit of shoulder auxiliary work as well. Later on in the week, it's gonna be a little bit more shoulders and arm focused with a little bit of back and chest work thrown in. So three days, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, upper body. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, lower body. And again, that could be a, one of those days might be a speed lower body day. So fun training, because it's always changing things up and I already feel stronger. So I'm about weeks into this 12 week program. Got a long way to go, but today's gonna be a good one. Let's go. First thing we're gonna be doing is a close grip bench press. Gonna be a little bit more triceps and anterior delts. It's gonna be focusing right bounce shoulder width. We're doing one and one fourth rep. So we go recount on the way down, quarter of the way up, back down, explode up. So everything's gonna be rolled today. I'm mean, gonna see me, I'm not gonna even need to use that much weight here, but a lot of time under tension, and then we're gonna be supersetting it with an off the knee dumbbell shoulder rotation. We're really gonna just make sure we're keeping shoulders healthy. That is one area that I would say as I've gotten older, shoulders tend to hurt a little bit more, so we wanna make sure we have good mobility, and then we're also taking it through that full range of motion, so things like bench pressing doesn't end up hurting our shoulder. Key is after quarter rep. Because I'm done holding it there for a second, try to explode as fast as possible down off the chest and back up. So it's really the eccentric. Then we have a little one, one quarter rep. Boom! Be explosive on that. Ooh, we have a visitor. This is why you lift heavy. You never know when a pretty blonde's gonna walk through the door. Maybe in Australia. Oh, hey, what's your name? Next superset. So for every pressing movement we're doing today, we're also doing a back move. So this actually works great for me and my physique even, not just performance. It's a performance-based program, but you're all gonna get tons of physique benefits from it as well. So every time you press, you really should, at some point in the week, for every pressing, do at least one, sometimes two pulling exercises. We always wanna train the muscles we see in the mirror more than the ones we don't. So it's always good. I like doing a chest and back day in the same day. They're my weaknesses. So if I can hit them at some point, hard once a week, another week a little bit more light, and then just kind of throwing in a set or two on a third day a week, I know I'm gonna be training those adequately. I'm not saying three full days dedicated to chest and back, but I am working them in some shape or form three days a week. Keeping with the same motto today, we got one and one quarter reps. So from the neutral grip on the top of the position, Three second count down, quarter, all the way down, all the way up. I've only gone with a 20 pound dumbbell because six reps, really it's gonna be more like 10 reps because we're doing one and one quarter. Plus that time under tension, you don't need a lot of weight. Typically, we have a shoulder day, but in this program, back, chest, a little bit of shoulders like today, and later on the week, but more than more of a shoulder day, it has some back and chest in it as well. So today, really focusing on those pull muscles with the rear delt. Let's go. Next exercise we got, incline bench. Gonna grab a set of dumbbells. We got basically a Paul Quinn press. Neutral grip position as we come to the top. We pronate, back down, get a good stretch. Two, three seconds down. Way too light there. I thought after all my benching, be a little bit weaker. 
but I want to go like, I need to go at least 75 seconds there. This gym only goes to 75, but we're gonna be supersetting that exercise. Basically an inverted row. So we're gonna be underneath this. This one's using all body weight. Utilizing it three seconds though, that eccentric body weight becomes plenty. So feet elevated, hands about just slightly shoulder width apart. I'm gonna be wanting to pull up to my sternum here. So dead hang position, one. It's almost like plank, a plank, so you gotta keep your core super tight. We don't want the booty sagging. Squeeze, and then back down. All right, moving on. Next superset, dips for chest. Now, I've demonstrated this one in the past. The biggest thing we're gonna be doing here, rather than focusing on a dip for a tricep, which would be straight up, straight down, really focusing on that last third of the movement. When we do dips for chest, we're actually gonna get that butt up by basically rotating, getting our center of gravity a little bit back further over the chest now, coming down all the way, and then coming up, just stop of locking out. So a little bit more chest focus, more of a pressing exercise. It's gonna look like this. That's that pivot I'm talking about. Now we're up. Right, we're getting back to our slow eccentric. Going to be really focusing on squeezing. It's that lower part of the chest. Not doing the one and one fourth on here. Just a three second eccentric. that's AC in this climate is so nice. So I have the place pretty much to ourselves. But my favorite thing about that gym is in the AC. It's the fact that the pool is right here and the pool always has hot Australian women there. Let's go. Best part, gym's right there. Al's right there. This is our pool. We have this all to ourselves pretty much. I mean, it's not our personal pool. It's not like just ours, but it's basically ours because no one uses it in the middle of the day because it's super hot. So we do a little gym, tan, and then once a week I do laundry. Little GTL, gym tan laundry. And the pool has the hottest chicks here. Oh my gosh, hey, will you give me a kiss if I swim the length underwater? Yeah. Six days a week, that's the one I'm following. We also have a four day. So everything we do with fitness culture, we have a, a very intense version. And then one that's like, hey, if you don't have as much time to go in the gym or if you're a little bit more of a novice, it's a perfect uh, training plan for you. So we have, we have something for everyone. Class set, bus set, let's go. We're coming back to the narrow grip after doing the wide grip inverted row, basically. Coming back to this, really what that's gonna allow us to do Let's focus on the outside part of our back. The wider we get, more more range of motion we're about to get on either side, depending on if you're doing it unilaterally or both hands at the same time. But when we're doing it closer, we're really focusing more on the outside of the back. Whoa. We're supposed to be a little weird on that. Got heavy quick. A week on the drive program here. So today's chest and back, really focusing on eccentric work. So that negative part of the movement. I just had my body fat tested last week at 14.6. Let me know what you guys think. I thought that was, I don't know. You guys let me know. All I know is I got exactly 10 weeks and I got a bench press 400. So we're gonna get to work here.